This video demonstrates one approach to placing a patient with COVID-19 on a ventilator and life support. This is not a guideline or a protocol or a standard of care. This is simply the best available information we have at the time during the most rapidly changing medical environment of my lifetime. Take care of your patients and take care of each other. If your hospital has the resources, you should divide your patient care into a cold zone where patients who are low risk are taken care of, then an anteroom or warm zone where PPE is donned and doffed before going into the hot zone where COVID patients are cared for. This is Bailey in room 59. I have a Mr. Frank Walters. He was admitted with congestive heart failure history and also has a COVID-19 rule out. He is in respiratory distress, which is a change from admission. He is on high flow nasal cannula, 30 liters with an FO2 of 75% and he is desatting to 88%. I think it is time that we intubate him. Okay, thank you. We'll see him right away. Because of a national shortage of PPE, we will not be wearing personal protective equipment during this drill. However, I cannot emphasize how important it is to protect yourself. If you get infected or get sick caring for a single patient, that will leave hundreds to thousands of other patients who you can no longer care for. Hey, Mr. Waters, Dr. Olson here. It sounds like you're doing a lot worse and not feeling as well with your breathing. Can you tell me how you're doing? Uh, yeah, no, I can't breathe. I, I feel like I'm gonna die. All right, sir. The best thing that we can do to help take care of you and keep you safe is to put you on a ventilator and a breathing machine. Bailey, so it looks like he's desatting. We're on 30 liters and 75% right now? Yes. Okay, can we crank that up to 100%? Yes. Can we sit him up? Yeah. And Mr. Can, Waters, we're just gonna sit you up. Can you grab the checklist and let's go through and figure out what equipment we need brought in? Yes. Okay. Our checklist includes one liter of LR and tubing, six flushes, we need three pumps, propofol for sedation, fentanyl for analgesia, and we will also need RT to bring their airway bag, the glide scope, and a ventilator. We have our peep valve, we have our filter, EVM. All right, Mr. Walters, we're just gonna give you some oxygen here. Just breathe normal. Yeah, no bag, and you keep that on top over the nasal cannula. Just ready for intubation. Yes. You have the end title and yes. suction. Yes. All right. Haley, can we put the head of the bed down and give yes. 30 milligrams of atomidate now, please? 30 of atomidate is in. Good. All right. That's good. All right. 30 seconds. Let's push 150 of the suctional choline. Okay, we'll give that a minute. Let's our fry lid. Little test rise. Sats 84%. Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Review the cores. Alright, pop the pop that. We are in. Visualization of cord tube to the cores. Don't Cuff is up. All right, now go ahead and bag. Bag aggressively. Get some PIPA 20 on the PIPA valve. Sats coming up, 89% positive color change. Don't need to listen. You no need to, to listen, no need to listen. Get positive color change. And All right, do you have your, have you, do you have your ventilator ready to, to switch? Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this fast and smooth when you're ready. Start propofol. Please, thank you. Watch our blood pressure be ready to start leave a fit if we need it. Okay. Carrie, tell me when you're ready. Right. That's 91. Go ahead and put our peep up to 10. <laughs> All right, team, good job. Everyone stayed calm and we did things in the right sequence, including getting the cuff up before we started bagging and bagging with high peep. 
Before we go, let's make sure we've got everything we need here. We need an OG tube, we're gonna need an arterial line and set up, and we're gonna just get him set up for a central line while we're all in the room. Thank you. And I'll get the ABG.